Hi, I'm Jamie Stilway with Acoustic Guitar, and today I am here to test out some new pedals from LR Bags. They have come out with the Delay pedal and a Chorus pedal in their Align series. Uh, they've had some other pedals that they have designed in mind for the acoustic guitar player. Uh, specifically, they are hoping to retain the original tone of the acoustic instrument and just sort of enhance it with the pedals, which is you know, a little different than your average stomp box. So both pedals, a very simple layout. I'm going to start with the delay pedal today. Going clockwise from the top left, you have a delay, a tone, repeats, and a time knob. A uh, delay is actually more like a mix. It blends the wet and dry signal of the effect. Tone is as you imagine. So if you have it all the way uh, counterclockwise, it is more of a warmer analog sounding delay. And if you put it all the way clockwise, you'll have a more of a digital sounding delay. Repeats is just how many repeats you want to hear. And time is sort of like a tempo knob. So again, it's one thing to talk about pedals. It, it probably makes a lot more sense if we actually play something through them. So I'm again, starting with the delay here. And uh, actually, I'm just gonna play something. Just a C chord. Gonna engage the pedal. So to start, I'm gonna go for like a classic sort of slapback sound, which is a really short delay. And so if I play this, that's kind of long. So what I wanna do is shorten the delay. So I'm going to use the tap button on in the middle of the pedal and sort of override the knob setting. So I'm gonna go and shorten that delay and press it rapidly. Let's see what this sounds like. That's what we, it's more of what we want. So just sort of like slap back straight after that. So like. You've always wanted to play Yankee Doodle with that delay pedal. So let's play it one time without it and then one time with it on so you can hear the difference. So. pedal. So again, I think that setting sounds great if you want to do some, you know, Merle Travis inspired thumb picking. Uh, moving on to some more spacey settings with the delay, I'm going to increase the time knob. Uh, and let's actually one of my favorite things is just the happy accident noises you can get with a delay pedal. So uh, let's just play an E minor like this. <laughs> some people might hate those noises. Those are some of my favorites. So let's hear what we've got now. So I want, I'm going to want a few more repeats in there. So I'm going to turn that knob clockwise. So I'm just going to sort of run through some stuff in E and see what we have. So.
Uh, I do consider delay pedals to be metronomes in disguise. They keep you very rhythmically honest, so that that's probably a good thing, uh, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and take this pedal off. One of the other things is that, so I forgot to mention how I'm, my pickup today is a Schertler Mag 6 with the external condenser mic, and I'm just plugged the pedals directly into a David amp, a Schertler David, and so what we just witnessed there was be careful if you have an external condenser mic and you're using a delay pedal because it's going to pick up noises in the room. Uh, that is just a fact of life. So now what I'm going to do is use the division button on the pedal, which changes the delay setting from a quarter note to a dotted eighth note. Let's see what that. So again, I'm going to turn it on. There it is without that button engaged. So this is inspiring a little bit of a different style of playing. So I'm going to, let's see. What I'm doing is I really want a lot of repeats. So I'm cranking the repeat knob all the way to the top and uh, let's see what we get here And just for fun, I'm going to turn the time knob. I want them to go a little faster, so I'm going to take the time knob and turn it counterclockwise. And let's see, again, I do want those glitching noises. bit of what the delay pedal can do. Of course, with more time, you could find any number of inspiring sounds that you could get out of this pedal. It's a super easy to use pedal. Uh, it really, you know, is user friendly. You can plug it in, figure it out and make some cool sounds very soon. The chorus pedal features also a very simple layout like the delay. It's four knobs uh, going clockwise. We have volume, tone, chorus, and size. And the main one I think that is most changes the sound of this pedal is the size knob. And so we're going to go and just play through some things and see what it is I am talking about. So let's see. I was just strum a chord. No effect. Engage the pedal. and see if we hear a difference. I'm going to turn it clockwise to brighten the tone of the effect, not of the tone of my original, of the sound of my pickup. So let's see. So as you adjust the size knob, what they, what it, what it does is it increase the voices, as it were, of the chorus. So I'm going to turn it to 12 o'clock in the middle and play the, well, hopefully close to the same thing and see what. And then for fun, let's 
just turn it all the way to 11. <laughs> wrap it up these are very user-friendly pedals if you've been considering trying out an effects pedal you know you can't go wrong with either one of these for the final thing I'm gonna put them I'm gonna engage them both and see what happens so you don't you know you like a potato chip you can't just have one why not have two so I'm gonna put the chorus on and the delay actually where I last left off the delay I'm gonna slow it down take that off See what we got. Again, I kind of like those noises. One last side note, I've got the pedals right in front of me on a table, and I would suggest if you're new to pedals, you might want to keep them closer while they are designed to be on the floor. It is very handy to get your tones dialed in a little bit closer, and then you can sort of like leave them on a setting you might prefer and set it and forget it. So I'm gonna turn these knobs here for a second. <laughs> off. <laughs> 